All right, today let's chat about something I like to call offer clarity. Now, what is this? Why should you use it? How does it work? Uh, and, and how is this applicable to you in your specific business that you're currently in? Uh, so if you're, if you're new here, welcome back. This is Project 7 Figures of me and Andreas partnering up together to start and scale an agency from, well, you probably guessed it, to 7 Figures, and I'm documenting the entire thing every single day. Regardless of how I feel, <coughs> regardless of if I'm sick or tired or out abroad, I'll still film a video for you guys. So, today we're going to talk about offer clarity because it's something me and Andreas have done time and time and time again because we keep switching our offer. And why is that? Well, it's because we don't really have total and utter offer clarity, which, well, if we break it down, what is offer clarity? Well, it is having clarity on your offer. But it's like, okay, Stefan, that sounds simple. I run ads and I do this. It's like, no, 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 no. What do you really do? What do you actually truly help these people do? Like, for example, let's say you run ads for them. Your offer isn't your ads for them. Maybe your offer to some people is that you help them get a bunch of time back because you you run that ads for them. Maybe your offer is that you help them get a consistent lead flow. Maybe your offers, do you see how your offer is actually really different than just running ads? So it's like, what truly is your offer? What do you actually offer these people? And you gotta really get into it so you know how you can position your offer better, how you can position it as more of a benefit, how you can truly help the people and describe your offer as what it does, because if you just say you run ads, you are really and totally underwhelming what you actually do, because ads do so much more than, well, just run ads, and they do so much more than just get leads, but if that's all you say, then that's all they think you do, and so offer clarity, at least how I like to think of it, is like, what does your offer do? How can you get clarification so that if you were to explain somebody your offer, you could explain it to a kid, you could explain it to your niche, you could explain it to me, you could explain it to anybody in a clear, concise way. You also have clarity on what the fulfillment looks like for this offer, right? Like the offer clarity is, I guess it's the offer itself, but it's also, okay, what is the service delivery? What is the fulfillment component of my offer? I need clarity on what I'm offering so I know the clarity on the back end what I need to fulfill on. If you don't really know what you're offering, how do you know what to fulfill on? And so then you, you are less convicted on sales calls and, and in, in just in general talking to people because you aren't really totally sure on what you're doing in the first place because you don't have a clear idea. <laughs> And I, I forget the quote. There's a quote there. It says, like, if you don't have uh, a plan, then something, something, something. But it's like, if you don't have a game plan, how are you going to win the game? Right? You, you can't. You need a plan, right? If you were going to drive from one side of the country across the other side, you would need a GPS. You would need a plan. You would need a map. If you didn't, you would get lost and you wouldn't make it there. If you did, it would take you a lot longer. So it's like, we need a strategy. We need some sort of a game plan, which is why offer clarity, having clarity on what we do is so beneficial because it allows us to know everything. It allows us to have a clear game plan of what's truly going on. And that will give you and your business and your teammates and and your clients so much more clarity, dare I say again, on the entire process from A to Z, right? So with that being said, uh, what I highly recommend is you start having some offer clarity. Have a session where you just look at your offer and go, what does my offer really do? How does it work? What's the fulfillment look like? What are the components of my offer? What are part of my offers I, I could switch in and out? What is what does my offer solve for these people? What can I add to my offer? How can I make my offer better? And just sit there and really break down your offer and have clarity on it. Right? I know I've said that word a ton of times today. And clarity is also a really good artist, uh, if you don't know that. But it's like it is very important to have clarity to understand why things are the way they are. Why are you running ads? Why are you on Facebook versus on Instagram? Why do you do fun uh, landing pages versus lead forms? It's like, why? Clarity. Why do you use go level instead of click funnels? Why do you automate follow ups instead of text them? Right? It's like, where's the clarity in the offers? And when you get clarity in your offers, not only can you lead a team way better, you can sell better, Okay, you can communicate better, you can fulfill better, you can do so many things better because you're clear, because you understand, right? If you didn't understand how ads work to be harder on ads, if you didn't understand how people psychologically make decisions to be hard to sell them, which is why you should learn psychology for sales, right? To understand. If you didn't understand how outreaching worked, how Facebook even worked, how Instagram even worked, how cold email worked, you wouldn't get it done. Imagine if you didn't understand how to send a cold email or you didn't understand how to write a cold email. Would you, like, imagine if you didn't understand how to dial the phone and how to, how to pitch people or offer. You wouldn't be able to cold call. So it's like, to understand means that we can do the thing and do it efficiently and do it better than we currently are. And so I highly encourage you guys all to understand what your offer is. And not just, right, like a lot of people, oh, I understand my offer, I run ads, I get people more money. It's like, no, 
on a high level, sure, that's what you do, right? It's like the main component, component of your fulfillment is, is ads. And what that mainly does for these people is it brings them deals. Okay, cool. High level. What is the nitty gritty? What is the low level? What is the, the actual normal POV, not the bird's eye view, right? What does that look like? So listen, maybe I'm not entirely right, but there's no right or wrong. And this, this is my opinion of what offer clarity is. I'm sure there's other videos talking about offer clarity and other ways you could do offer clarity that could make your offer clear, more clear or, or sum this up a little better than I did. Sure, fair enough. All credit to them. This is how I've been doing it. This is what me and Andreas have been doing inside of our new agency and what has been working quite well, what has allowed us to really get clear, especially when you're working with somebody else, you have team members. It's, it's really important to be clear and understand. Otherwise, if you don't understand, how are you going to communicate to somebody else? Well, you can't. So, which is why offer clarity is super duper important. Now, with that being said, if you can't already hear, my voice is a little bit, dare I say, fucked up. And so I'm going to go and uh, go to bed and have a good night's sleep, a good night rest. And hopefully, come tomorrow morning, I'll be magically better. Okay? Uh, with that being said, I hope that this video has served you of some value. Okay, I try my best regardless of the context of where I'm at or how I feel to put out good quality content for you guys. And so I hope that this video, it shines some light on a subject you may have never even heard about. And uh, if so, I'm happy um, for the future. For those of you who watch my videos every single day, first off, just thank you. Okay, I know it's a very minimal thing, but I truly, truly from the bottom of my heart appreciate you guys watching every single video. It, it means the world to me, and therefore I try my best to give you good enough value back. Uh, but also, for those of you who do watch, coming in the next couple of days, uh, next couple of days, hopefully just some more videos like this. And then I'm actually going somewhere special with somebody special, not a girl. This is okay, and I'm not fucking gay either, but just with a, a cool guy, we'll say. Uh, so see some, expect some content from there. I'll do a vlog. However, it won't be a realistic vlog. Obviously, I'm traveling, so whatever vlogs I put it now will be very unrealistic because it will not be like, well, any other vlog because I'm just kind of messing around. But expect that because it'll be cool. It'll be fun. It'll be awesome. And uh, I'm expecting it to be sweet. And so I hope that you guys will find that as well. But for the time being... I wish you guys all a good night or good morning or good evening or good afternoon, whatever you watch this. I'm not really sure what time zone it is or when you watch my videos. Comment down below. Actually, as a matter of fact, comment down below. When do you typically watch my videos? Does it depend on when I upload or is it just kind of when you wake up in the morning or before you go to bed? Let me know. I'm curious to see it here when you guys actually watch my videos. But yeah, start having some offer clarity so you know more about what you offer. Peace.